Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a really quick brow routine video. I get a lot of questions about my brows, especially since they're more sort of on the more natural side. And uh, I try not to overfill and overline them. So yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, there's definitely tons of different ways to uh, basically do your brows, but this is the way I like to do them. Um, and these are the products I like to use. So I just get like a little spoolie. So it looks like this. Sorry, this one's a little bit dirty, but I just use that to brush my brow hairs up. So that way they're going in one general direction like that. And I don't wax my brows, I basically just tweeze any stray hairs because I don't really have thick brows or anything like that. Um, <laughs> that's why I have to fill them in. So I technically, I get some hairs right here and then um, sometimes I'll just shave, you know, this area up top there. But for the most part, this is just what my brows look like. So I just brush them up. And right now I'm really loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is the Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I have Dark Brown as well, but Dark Brown is just a little bit dark for my hair color right now. So I've been using Soft Brown and it's just a gel-like consistency. It's a pomade. And then I just use a small, thin brush. Uh, this one is, I don't even know, it's from a My Glam kit <laughs> that I got years and years and years ago, but it's just a small, thin, angled brush. Uh, so any sort of small thin angled brush will work well for this. Um, as an alternative also, I like to use powder. So, sorry this is dirty, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Powder in Brunette Dark Brown. So you get two different colors. So this one I use sort of to fill and then this one I'll use to define my brows. And then also you can use, uh, you know, like brow gels. So I have this one from Benefit. It's called Gimme Brow. And this one is in dark brown. And then this one is from Bare Minerals. Now it's not a brow product, but I like to use it as a brow gel because it's waterproof. And it's completely clear. So sometimes what I'll do is use the Locked and Coated from Bare Minerals. And I'll just brush it through my brows to set it into place. And then once I have my brows set the way I, I like them, then I'll fill them in. So today I'll use the uh, Dip Brow, the pomade. So I just take a small amount of that and I start where my arch is. So I just try to, I just do small, small strokes and fill in where there are any gaps. Now along the bottom right here, I like to just sort of do small strokes gliding along so that way I get a fairly crisp line. And normally I won't have to go under there with any concealer to clean it up. And then I'll take a little bit more product and I'll go up top of my brows. So I'll go right, right around here just to further define it. And if you've added too much product, you can always just brush through them. And then when it comes to the other half of my brow, then I'll just smooth along like that. And then sometimes I'll extend the tail just slightly. But I don't try to make them too perfect. I just want them to look more full. And I try not to add too much product to the front area right here, just to make them look more natural. If you do need to add product there, however, you can just take your brush and flick upwards. but I try to avoid that harsh, boxy brow. Now, if you do want a really clean, defined brow, you can go in with some concealer. So I'm just using a concealer that's about one to two shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm gonna take a flat brush, and I'm gonna go right along my brows with this. So starting from the beginning. and then blend downwards. You don't want any harsh lines. And using the concealer underneath the brow actually helps to camouflage any hairs. So if you haven't waxed or you haven't plucked, uh, you can use the concealer just to hide that a little bit. But that's basically how I do my brow. I never normally add concealer up top there 
only because I feel like it just looks natural enough and it just looks clean enough the way it is so I leave it the way it is <laughs> and then here's the comparison also so this is the brow with concealer and here's the brow without concealer so this brow sort of pops a little bit more and then that one sort of blends into my skin a little bit more so this is how I do my brows guys super simple really quick uh, not too involved <laughs> so if you have any questions leave them down below don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time guys